you remember an important trip or a vacation where when you got there, boots on the ground, it totally changed your view of that location and gave you a whole new appreciation for it? We can't always create those experiences for students. You know, field trips and study abroad and everything is kind of expensive and it's a hassle. But what I'm about to show you today may be the next best thing. We're gonna look at how to create virtual walking tours with Google Maps, Street View, and a screencasting tool. I'm Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. Let's get started. One of my favorite tools to share with teachers for a quick win, like something they can plug in immediately and start using in class, is Google Maps Street View. I love Google Maps Street View because people are fairly familiar with Google Maps, and then we're able to show the students what life looks like on the street, on the ground, in so many locations all over the world. So if we take a look at the screen real quick, you'll see that I have a map of Indianapolis. This is the state capital of where I am here in Indiana and so if we come down here to downtown Indianapolis we're gonna take the little yellow peg man down here in the corner we're gonna drag him onto the screen now the little yellow peg man works just like this with laptops and Chromebooks if you're gonna use a mobile device like a cell phone or an iPad you need to download the Street View app so we're gonna click and drag him onto the screen and you'll notice that all of the streets turn blue these are the locations where we can drop him so we're gonna drop him don't you love how he does angles. Whee, isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, so we're going to drop him down here on the circle in Indianapolis. Once he gets down here on the street, you can see that this is where the Google car has driven and has captured imagery. In fact, if we look down, we can see there's the Google car right there. And sometimes you can even see it's... Um, See, it's shadow, and it's basically got this panoramic camera on top of it, and as it drives, it shoots pictures. And so we can click forward, and it makes it look like we're driving right down the street. If there's anything interesting off to the side, we can always zoom in on it, and then zoom back out. And so this works just about all over the world. So if you're not familiar with this, maybe this is your big win for th from this video, is that you can just take the little ye yellow guy and drop him onto the screen and do this. Now, giving students the opportunity to kind of cruise around in a location and use Google Maps Street View is powerful. It's even better when you can let them create something. So imagine this. What if you have a group of two students and they create a list of facts that they would share with a group if they were giving a walking tour, like if they were a tour guide. And then once they've got all of those facts and a couple of different locations, then what they can do is record a virtual walking tour using Google Maps Street View and a screencasting tool. If you're not familiar with screencasting, it's just very simply taking a video recording of what's going on on your screen. Now for me, since I use Google Chrome all the time as my web browser, one of my favorite screencasting tools is Screencastify. You can go to screencastify.com. It's a freemium tool, which means that there's a free version and a premium version. The free version will take care of everything you need for this activity and for a lot more actually. So you just hit this little blue button here where it says add to Chrome and it will create an icon for the Chrome extension. It's a Chrome extension, so it's a little program that runs in your Google Chrome browser. So if I was a student, what I would do is I would find some locations that I wanna take my virtual tour group, and then I would write down some facts that I wanna share with them. And as soon as I've got all of that, I would pull it up in Google Maps Street View. Let's go someplace a little more exotic. <laughs> than Indianapolis. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. And so there's the Eiffel Tower right there. So I would bring down the Screencastify menu like this. And then with the Screencastify menu, I can choose, am I going to record the browser tab? Am I going to record the entire desktop, like my entire screen? Or am I going to just record my webcam? Now, within the browser tab and the desktop, if you're recording your screen, you can also stick a little webcam on there, which is kind of nice if you want people to be able to see your face. And so once you do that, you hit record, and then it starts recording your screen. And so from there, if you've got two students, imagine this. One of them is operating the mouse or is operating the touchpad, 
and the other one is talking and is reading from the notes. And so they might say, welcome to our virtual walking tour of Paris. Here's our first stop, the Eiffel Tower. And so the one that's operating the mouse takes the little yellow peg man and drops him down. And then the one who's reading says, the Eiffel Tower was built in this year. Um, this many people come to see it. It's one of the most popular landmarks in all of Paris and really all of the world. And so the other one is kind of like looking around to show the, the viewer what's going on. So then they back out and they say the next stop on our virtual walking tour is the Arc de Triomphe. And so then they load it up and then the one who is reading continues to read and says, you know, this is an important place because it's created out of this. It was created in this year, so on and so forth. The other one that's operating the mouse is dropping them down and is going to show them the Arc de Triomphe and then continue to look around. And so once they're done, they can take that Screencastify button and they can stop the recording. And then once the recording is stopped, all of a sudden Screencastify automatically uploads that video to your Google Drive, which of course, if you use Google Classroom to manage your assignments in your class, it makes it so easy to take that video file that was just created and saved into your Google Drive. Students just take that video file and they turn it into Google Classroom. And so now all of a sudden students have this video that they created with actual images of what it looks like on the street with a bunch of facts about that location. They created this video and they turned it in. And really they recorded it and turned it in just about as fast as it would take to create a slide presentation or a document. But now it's a video. And so now you can take those videos, the teacher can look them over and grade them, you can show them on the projector to the whole class. You can even create links to them, you know, like little clickable links inside of Google Classroom so that students can go listen to and watch each other's videos. This is a super cool activity because it means that students are gathering information and then making something with it. In this case, they're making this video and then the students that look at it, they're able to see what it looks like to be on the ground in all of these locations. And so so easy. All you do is you just drop the little yellow peg man onto the screen and you record. In summary, real fast, all you do here is you pull up Google Maps, you drop the little yellow peg man down on the location, make sure that you've got some facts to tell your tour group, and then you hit record in Screencastify and it starts recording your screen. You take them on the virtual tour and then when you're done, you hit stop in Screencastify, saves it to Google Drive, and then the students can take that video, turn it in through Google Classroom. I hope this was useful to you. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more videos just like this. And I will see you on the next video.